right, keep your hands together. Are you guys ready for your next storyteller to take the stage? Please welcome to the stage, Kathy Gaz. We weren't really a pet family growing up. Um, we had a series of gerbils. Uh, the first one we named was Doug. And, um, but they died, uh, I'm not exactly sure how quickly, because we would eventually find them underneath the wood shavings. And then we would get another gerbil, and we would just name it Doug. It didn't matter what, <laughs> male or female. We, there wasn't a lot of attachment. And I attribute this to coming from uh, a Jewish family, my parents were Jewish immigrants, and probably decades, hundreds, millions of years ago, we were Ashkenazi Jews, and you know, when you're going through the desert, crossing the Red Sea, um, it's, not, it's not practical to have dogs and cats. It's just, <laughs> you know, you just want to travel with the bare minimum. So, not a pet family, but um, when I was in my 20s, uh, my friend Dave called me and asked whether um, I could take care of his cat for a few days. His apartment was getting fumigated for cockroaches. I thought, well, now how complicated can this be? I mean, I've seen movies. So I said, yeah, sure, you can bring her over. And so he brought over the, the cat litter box and the little pillow that the cat sleeps in and some food. And then as he was leaving, he just made this offhanded comment like, oh my God, she's been getting so fat lately. Um, so, uh, we both had our evening snack, and then I went to bed. And uh, sometime in the middle of the night, I, I don't know, it was one of those half-awake, half-asleep dreams where it was like there was screaming going on, and it felt like one of those, like, Last Judgment Day paintings like Hieronymus Bosch. And it was just, and then I felt something at my feet, and... Um, and I finally turned on the light and pulled back the covers, and the cat, um, who had become fat from being pregnant, um, was at the foot of my bed and totally freaked out because, of course, right before she's gonna give birth, her dad picks her up and takes her to a completely strange apartment, and so she's now birthing the children in the foot of my bed, but she's like lost her maternal instinct, so she doesn't know that she should be like, like, I don't know exactly what we were to pet family. I'm not sure what they do. But the main thing is that the afterbirth, they're like connected and they're pulling each other's guts out. And I don't know if any of you have seen season three of Stranger Things, but it was like, it was like the rats when the rats are exploding. And these, and I'm completely freaked out. I never saw this in a movie. And so there's at least two of them in the bed, but there are more coming out of her. And she is like, checked out. So, um, I don't really know is this, what time it was, but there was, down on Lindale, there's a little clinic called the Kitty Clinic, and um, I had paid no attention to this clinic ever in my life, and suddenly, light bulb, like, go to the Kitty Clinic. So, I got there as soon as it opened in the morning, and um, waited outside, and I, I brought the cat in. They ended up salvaging three of the kittens, and there were three that died. And so the, the um, veterinarian said, you know, would you like me to dispose of them? And I said, well, sure, how much would that cost? It'd be like 60 bucks a cat. And I thought, yeah, no, I don't think we can do that. Could you just box them up for me and I'll take them to go? So, um, but it was, it was January, it was January. So it was cold. And so I put the three little boxes in the trunk of my Toyota and then, when Dave came back to town, I told him what happened. I gave him his stuff back, and then, and then it was June, <laughs> and um, and and it started to smell. So I, I remembered, oh my God! But then I remembered that Minneapolis has much stricter disposal laws than St. Paul. St. Paul, you can actually use anybody's dumpster. So one night I drove the cats over, the kittens, and I just pitched them into a dumpster. And um, the, the only thing that I learned from this experience is that um, I should never have children or be a pet owner, and I have stuck by that. Thank you.